Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will just be John with you guys hanging out and showing you my process of how I'm finishing the marker base for one of the drawings that I'm working on. While doing that, I will be talking about Juneteenth, what it is, why it's established, and why it's important. So, if you want to see my art process and how I lay down marker bases for when I do colored pencils, and if you'd like to learn more about Juneteenth, and if you're black or if you're of African descent and you want to learn more about our history that we weren't taught in high school, but these are the things that we need to know, then stay tuned for the duration of this video because I'll be talking about it throughout. And um, for the art aspect of it, I will be showing the colored pencil part of this video, um, the colored pencil part of this art piece in the next video another video which means you're gonna have to come back which means if you're not subscribed you should subscribe like not even being funny but I'm pretty cool at drawing and like the best part about it is that nobody's teaching me I'm teaching myself so it's like you're amongst friends you're here because you might not have an art teacher you might not have anybody sitting down with you telling you how to draw and I didn't either I got here you're here let's grow together so um yeah stay tuned if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm gonna wait. You subscribed yet? All right, so um, make sure you guys stay for the duration of this video. Make sure you guys drop a comment. Let me know how I'm doing and make sure you guys like the video. Bye. From its Galveston, Texas origin in 1865, the observance of June 19th as the African American Emancipation Day has spread across the United States and beyond. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. Today, Juneteenth commemorates African American freedom and emphasizes education and achievement.
Juneteenth, which is a mashup of June 19th, became a day of celebration for black people in Texas, a tradition that slowly spread as they migrated to other states such as Louisiana and California. Just recently on Wednesday, New York's governor signed an executive order recognizing Juneteenth as a paid holiday for state employees to commemorate the emancipation of slaves in the United States. Over the past two weeks, corporations such as Twitter, Square, Nike, Target, and the National Football League, also known as NFL, declared Juneteenth a paid company holiday. And it is currently in the works for Juneteenth to become a national holiday. This is an excerpt from an article on the LA Times and the link is in the description below so you guys can get a full reading of what I'm about to say if you want more context. A lot of people stayed on the plantations because they had nowhere else to go. They had no land, no housing, no work tools, seeds, or work animals. Plantation owners had little desire to pay for their labor that they once had gotten for free. That's when you see sharecropping, developing, and renters having to give up what they earned to the landowner. The result being that while people were set free, they remained an economic bondage to their former owners. And then there was the deeply entrenched belief of white supremacy, a mindset carefully nurtured for generations to justify the enslavement of black people and other people of color. The whole mythology about black incompetence and inferiority was very ingrained. They saw this as a rule of natural law and it wasn't about to flip because of a proclamation. Slaveholders forced these beliefs onto their children at an early age, to the extent that they sent them away to school to remove them from the companionship of black slave children. They had to teach them that their friends on the plantation were inferior and someday they were going to be their master. It was a real indoctrination. This was very seriously enforced and you could not, as a white person, act otherwise if you did not want to be ostracized. One wonders how different our history and race relations might have been if the entire nation came together to celebrate our second Independence Day. The end of legal human bondage in the United States. Now, 155 years later, we have a lot of catching up to do which makes national conversations about racial injustice and inequality so important. Racism is deeply rooted in American culture and ideology, 
and we just have to keep digging and digging and digging until the roots are out. Again, these are not my words. I have read to you parts of an article and it is linked down in the description, in the description, if you want to read the full article yourselves. I personally believe that a lot of things were kept out of our curriculum as children growing up because America as a whole wanted to sweep a lot of the, the hurtful things that were done to people of color under the rug. They didn't want children to know that the society that they have grown to love and grown accustomed to was built on the literal bones of black people and other minorities. And that's the sad truth. As long as these situations and instances and these acts of senseless violence and destruction and just massacres, as long as they are swept under the rug, there will be no real change because history will be bound to repeat itself. If we don't learn from our mistakes, we are creatures of habit. We will continue to keep doing the same thing to each other. And that's just senseless violence. So now that you guys have heard my perspective, please comment down in the section below and tell me your perspective because I truly believe that conversations like this need to happen in order for us as a whole to come together and reach some type of resolution. Do you understand why protesters are protesting? Do you understand why looters are destroying properties and symbols of oppression? Do you understand? why people are resisting arrest do you understand why people are in fear of their life when they are in the presence with police like do you understand that this goes far beyond police this is a deep cultural and societal issue that has been ingrained in the establishment of these united states this is something that has been in our society since we became a society and 
if you don't understand that i really would like to hear your perspective in the comment section and if you do understand that tell me why i really want us to start having these type of conversations on this channel because these are the conversations that need to be had and it's one of the only ways that we can start making a change and start changing these laws start holding people accountable for the actions that they take and that includes murder that includes false reports that includes so many things but it can't happen without a conversation that's it that's the video um i will be finishing this piece hopefully because i have a bad problem not finishing stuff but i plan to finish this piece sometime this month uh maybe the fact that i'm recording it means that i'm probably gonna actually finish it this time but you guys should definitely hit that notification bell you know the bell right next to after you hit subscribe so after you subscribe there's a notification bell and you will get all of my alerts i usually post on wednesdays but if there's a lot of content that i want to post i'll post wednesdays and fridays so if you haven't subscribed i'm, give, I'm gonna give you another second if you haven't subscribed one second all right so if you still haven't subscribed and you like my art and you like the content and you just want to be stubborn i respect you for that but the next video I better see you on my subscribe list okay so that's it um stay tuned for the next video and um stay safe out there guys <clears throat> black lives matter and um have a nice day